What's up? What's up, everybody? Um, thanks for checking in to my podcast, Negro News. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is my actually, actually, this is the first one. Uh, camera quality will be a whole lot better in a couple of days. I gotta do some tweaking or whatever. Um, anyway, want to talk about uh this big time matchup this Saturday, uh, Colorado versus Oregon. Um, as we all know, Travis Hunter, he's down. What is it? A lacerated, uh, lacerated liver, I think. Basically, he has a bruised liver. All right, the cheap shot he took, you know, in the Colorado State game. We all saw that. It's not a secret. Um, I think, uh, I think Colorado man. I, I think Coach Prom is. Um, I think I think he's been having a poker face on man. I think I think he's bluffing. I think he's been bluffing. I think I think I think uh, Oregon is going to be in for a rude awakening. Um, Austin McCaskill, you know the running back, the transfer uh, guy, uh, the back from uh, Houston. Yeah, that, that dude. I think he's like six one, two ten. It's a dog, like a, like a miniature Eric Dickerson. Uh, he's 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 clear to play. I think we're finally going to get that uh, running game established. Yeah, I am a bandwagon buff. I'm on a bandwagon, you know. I'm supporting whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, our people support as long as it's positive. Um, I think uh, Shador is going to do good. I think, I think I mean, his arm, man, eh, his, his arm talent is uh, is undeniable. Um, as long as he makes his right reads and go through his progressions, he'll be fine. Um, everybody making a big thing about uh, Travis Hunter not being able to play or whatever. He's up for three weeks. I personally, I think he's a good player, but I personally don't see that he's like, or think that he's uh, just that dominant on the offensive side of the ball to where, you know, they're not going to be able to do nothing without him. I, I just don't believe that. I, I think um, think uh, Jimmy Horn Jr., I think he's a dog. I think uh, Xavier Weaver, uh, the other kid, number six, I, I can't think of his name right now. And I believe they, they, they got something else on that sideline, man, that, that, that we haven't seen yet. Uh, for another receiver, the tight end Harrison, he's a he's a dog, you know. He's a sleeper. He you know he he showed a lot on um, the last game. He was clutch. Um, and I think I heard somebody say that uh, Harrison, the tight end. I think I heard somebody say say that he's not even uh, on scholarship. I could be wrong. I could have sworn I heard someone say that. Um, nevertheless, you can't you can't bet against Prime. Coach Prime is a he's a dog. He he was a dog as an athlete and he's showing the, he's showing the equivalent as a coach. Um I think I, I think they're gonna get that running game going. Um I think the O-line, the O-line is kind of suspect, you know. Um I know they're gonna try to get back there and get Shador, but he gotta just he hey, he gotta get the ball out quick. Um, but if they get that running game going, it's gonna be a long day for Oregon, I promise you that. Um, I play the prize picks, and I don't know. Maybe you guys leave comments and you tell me what you think. Um, they got a uh, let me see real quick. They got they got Shador. Now he's, he's he, hey man, he's been throwing for a lot of yards, but I'm thinking, being as though that uh, McCaskill's going to be in the lineup Saturday, I think we're going to pound the ball. So I really don't want to, really don't want to overstep my boundary and think that Shador is going to have a a hell of a game. I mean, I know he's going to have a good game, but they got him projected to throw for 335.5 yards. That's some prize picks. So you guys tell me if you think I should pick more or less because if the running game is working, I just don't see them airing the ball out the equivalent of the past three games. It's just it's going to be crazy. Um, They got Bo Nix. They got him projected to throw him for 312.5 yards. So uh, we just got to see, man. Um, Marquise Irvin, you know, they got Troy Franklin. This, this, this is Oregon. And then they got Tez Johnson, three wide receivers. Um, so they, 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 got some, they got some weapons over there in Oregon. Biggest, biggest question is, I mean, I'm not doubting uh, Colorado's offense. It's that defense. It's that defense. Um, 
Kamani McLean, he's not he's not playing. And I'm gonna be honest, I, I was I was watching some stuff, man. I've been up pretty much all night watching this film, right? And they showed Coach Prime coaching up Kamani McLean, and he was backpedaling and coming out of his break and turning. Well, what I saw wasn't a five star. I'm 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 saying. And it's a reason why Prime isn't playing this kid yet. He's not ready. I'm going to tell you a lot of times, man, I've seen it, man. I, I got a son that's playing Division II football. And I and, and I got him personal trainers and, uh, you know, just outside help. That's what you got to do, right? And uh, technique and fundamentals and skills and footwork and strength and conditioning. All of those things matter. But I've seen that a lot of parents – the way things are now, man. Everything is this. This is a business now, from high school all the way up to to, to 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 college, right? A lot of these parents are paying for these kids' stars. Yeah, they they're paying for these kids' stars, and 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 and, and in a way, they're hurting the kid if they're not if they're not star worthy. And stars really don't mean nothing, you know. In, in, in my book, oh, we want a five star, we want a four star. Man, what I saw on that film from uh. Kamani McLean, I ain't hating on him, whatever. I know he's a dog. Because he here's here's what I'm saying. He has raw talent. He hasn't been coached. He hasn't been coached. He hasn't been he 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 hasn't been uh polished. And Coach Prime sees that. That boy is not polished. That boy technique's horrible. I, I saw it. I I'm a football savant. Trust me. Um his footwork is trash. And he's not going to put that out on the field with his name on it. And I, I don't blame him. So he got to get right. He got to get right. Some of the things that I saw, this man should have been already polished coming into Colorado. Yeah, he was a dog, just raw talent. But five star, no, no, no. Not a five star. Um, I know some kids right now, man. They got way more better technique than he has, with very little resources. I'm just being, I'm just being frank with you. A lot of times, people get obsessed uh, with size because that's one thing you can't teach is the size. So it's a lot of size obsession. Um. Mike, what I've, you know, Mike just cut off. I hope I got to check it though. Um, size obsession. So people, you know, you can't teach size. They want, they want size. They want size. But size does not equate to talent. It doesn't. You can have a bunch of giants, the softest Charmin. And there's some average size cats, man. There's dogs. We'll run them off the field. So, yeah. But um, you guys tell me what you think. I want to hear your predictions for this uh, week's game. I'm going to touch back with you guys about this. Hope my audio didn't go out uh, for a long time. I, it, it, I don't know why it went out, but yeah. Um, but you guys tell me what you think about this week's uh, upcoming game because I mean, it's plenty of games coming on, but everyone knows that no other game matter in college football other than the Colorado Oregon game. Let's be frank, right? So I'm 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 gonna check that out, and uh, I don't I don't know I'm I might have to watch it on my phone. I don't know. It just depends where I am. Um, but like I said, man, leave a comment, um, like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And uh, highlight me, man. I got some more stuff for y'all, man. All right, we gonna. Chop it, up, chop it up about this football. And I I, I don't want to ruffle no feathers. I'm not saying Kamani McLean is not a dog. He's a dog, but he just needs to be polished. You know, he needs to be fine-tuned. It's just like, you know, every time, like, I'm down here in the South. When these boys race, you know what they do? They tune up their motor. New plugs, new wires. 
know what I'm saying? Make sure they got a fresh bottle of nitrous, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they got right tires, you know? He just got to tune him up. That's all he got to do. But once he's finished with him, he's going to be a dog. He's going to be a dog. And he's young, too. He's young. Everybody just don't come out the gate, man, as a freshman, man. It's power five football. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, I try to be more, I try to be honest as possible. Um, I don't want to lie. I'm going to be honest, man. I ain't, I ain't going to cut no corners, man. If you garbage, you garbage. You, I'm, I'm going to let you know. If you're hot garbage, you're hot garbage. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 hey, if, you, if you're cooking, I'm going to go get the Crisco. Let's, let's, let's do it. All right? But uh, I'm going to uh, get back at you guys. Um, like I said, this is my first actual uh, podcast doing, my, you know, my Negro news. And, and, and just to give you a little brief tutorial before I leave, uh, Negro news is going to be, we talk about all kinds of things, man, current events, sports. Right now I'm just touching the hot topic, which is Colorado Buffs. And, you know, that's a hot topic. Um, news. Don't try to. I don't try to touch politics too much, you know. I mean, you know, politics and religions, those are two things you really don't want to, you know, touch or whatever. But I don't have anybody here to debate with, so I guess I won't ruffle no feathers personally, right? But opinions are like everyone has one. But uh yeah, man. So just 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 tune in. And uh, like I said, subscribe, follow me, like, whatever, man, and holler at your boy, man. I'm cut a tone, man.